Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a digital bullet journal in Procreate. I'm going to teach you how to design, print, or save as a PDF a bullet journal or digital pages for a planner that you can use on your tablets or phones, whether you're an Apple product user or an Android user. So, let's go. So first, I always create a cover page for my monthly plans. I start out with, um, on my paper journal, my paper bullet journal, I actually do this on the right side of the page. So I start with a fresh double page and I typically design something based on my theme on the right side with uh, the word of the month. So July this time in large um, letters. Most of the time it's calligraphy. Um, then on the left side, I typically have some kind of inspirational quote or some positivity saying um, something that I like to refer back to just to kind of keep you motivated and positive throughout the month. So for this theme here, which was the beach, seashells, message in the bottle, um, something nautical, I started by sketching all these different starfish and seashells and um, glass bottles so like one with a message inside and then just threw on some birds put my quote on the left side and then when I was happy with it I put in that calendar inside the bottle and you'll see that it's um, the calendar isn't right when you first see it that's because I'm reusing something from last year and I just tweaked it a little bit to match this year so I will update the dates as I go so on a couple of the pages you'll see the dates changing Next is the monthly calendar. So this is a feature that I know a lot of people don't really use this when they have the weekly calendar. Um, I still tend to use this. I do kind of like the high level um, information. So I'll write down people's birthdays. So I'll just write their names on their birthday, for example. I'll put in, um, you know, doctor's appointment or if I have anything specific that I'm waiting for on the day and then in the weekly spread I will have more detail or I will have more of my day-to-day -day tasks this is more for me to have an overview of the entire month and I just know what's coming and um, what to expect and here again this is what I had used last year I actually designed it but never got a chance to use all of it so I actually designed it and didn't use it so this year I'm happy that I'm done with it on time so I can actually use it after that I always do a to-do page so sometimes that's my whole page sometimes it's um, goals that I have for that month it's a little bit break down the goals into tasks so I love having a task list or to-do list that I can check off so I added the circles which are my check boxes and uh, the rest of the design I just had added a what do you call this just a knot like nautical knots I don't know the designing part is the part that takes the longest because I just ne never happy with one thing I keep moving things around um, but then I finally agreed on this I added a few lines for where I would write my tasks and then I was done and then next is the mood tracker which is my personal favorite because that gives me the biggest chance to be creative I like to use a mood tracker based on my theme that um, is a repetitive action so for example here since I'm using the beach theme I threw in 31 bottles and made them all different si sizes and shapes um, kind of the same shape just different sizes so what I do is I will select different colors and for each day based on the mood, how I feel, I will color the bottle by that color. This is the first weekly spread layout option, it's just a vertical layout. I will have a horizontal layout version right after this. I always give myself both just because some weeks are busier than others and I feel like the vertical layout gives me more space to write. Um, I don't know if it's really accurate but it's just how it feels <laughs> so I tend to use the vertical layouts more when I'm busy um, and then the horizontal when there's not that much going on so
and then I always make sure to have a notes section even on the weekly spreads just because um, anything that doesn't fall on a specific day but that I need to remember sometimes it's for the whole week then I like to jot it down there so I always have it in front of me wanted to show you um, how I got to use the documents that we just created from Procreate and I'll get back to them right now these documents here I just exported them from Procreate and I brought them saved them up as PDF documents you can use good notes or you can use a made emoji notes which is the one right next to it the big N with a pen on it and um, the Good Notes app you can only use on Apple products. I don't know if it's on iPhones, but on app iPads you can. And the Note obviously works on iPads since I have it here, but this one is also available on Android. So I will show you how I used it also on my phone. I just don't have these documents on my phone, but the process is the same. You can use it either with a stencil or Apple Pencil. If you're on the iPad, you can use it with your finger or the pencil. I mean it's endless options so when I open it I imported the document um, I saved it directly from here actually when I saved it from procreate I had it saved into here so if you purchase this from my store and you downloaded it you would just have to go to the front end right here if you're using good notes you would click the plus sign and you would upload it or import it from wherever you saved it So really quickly, right now how I'm sliding between pages, if when you open you don't see the same thing I'm seeing, the top right corner has a button that looks like a pencil with like a bar through it. If you click on that, you end up, most of the time you end up on this first page when you click in. And it's the page where you can just have an overview. You can slide between all the pages of your document, but you can make any edits you want you write anything on. Um, but if you click on the circle button again where that pencil was, now it lets you have the menu bar and here is where um, the fun begins so for my documents I save everything as a PDF anyway a high quality so you can zoom in as far as you need to and if you chose this option for the pen right now I have the ballpoint pen selected but there is also a fountain pen or a brush pen um, and I'm not gonna go through all of the features in detail because I'm only showing you that you can use this here but if you want a detailed tutorial of how to use good notes then I'd be happy to share that in a different video just let me know in the comments below but essentially it lets you now handwrite your messages like what you have to do for the week I can write it down and I can zoom in or I can just say you know my anniversary is on the 9th so I can just make little notes like that or I can <clears throat> type in something by clicking the T in the bar which is just a text tool option and I can choose whatever I want to write and I can say tap in there and now I can write mother-in-law's birthday and once I've written it I can actually resize so I'm going to use the select tool which is this dotted circle grab the information tap on it resize and now it fits the way I want it and obviously with the text you can probably make some edits um, when you click on it again while it's blinking I can select it all and in the edit bar again on the top right corner I have where it's the color I can change the color of my text whether it's bold italicized or change the font and here is a slew of font options that you can use this for so you can customize this to make it the way you want. So it doesn't have to be handwritten all the time. Um, you have a good amount of options. 
so I think it's cool because it's really small I can't write that small but here I can zoom in I can't do that in my bullet journal and um, all of these is very self-explanatory but the last thing I want to just show really quickly is how I use my bullet journal on here so I typically grab the highlighter option because it will um, still let me see what's underneath and I'll say choose the color that matches the mood and maybe we'll do something morose sad for the green I don't know dark green and I'll say, oh, so any day that I had a good day, so at the end of the first, if I felt like today was a pretty good day, I will color that in with that color that matches the happy face at the bottom of the screen. And let's say I had a very good couple of days to start. This isn't meant to be water, by the way, because I'm not doing it properly. I'm just gonna color the whole bottle in. <laughs> Made a mess, don't mind me. But basically, I would color these in and, you know, afterwards it will be, oh, that day wasn't so great, um, then the fourth might not have been great. It's not the best color, it looks like poison, I don't like that. Anyway, you see my point. So, um, you'd fill in all of these and then at the end of the month you'd be able to reflect back and say, oh, I need to get it together. I've had too many not so good days, I need to do something about it or... You know, maybe you'd been sick or maybe you'd felt like, you know, my husband just started walking every morning. So whenever he doesn't, he doesn't feel really good. He feels kind of crappy. And so um, we don't want him to feel like that. So he'll know. He'll be like, oh, these are the days I, I didn't feel so good because I missed my walk or I missed my run or whatever your activity is. For me, my saddest days are usually they come my frustration days when I haven't had a chance to make any art. So <laughs> that's uh, that's what I've noticed. But that's how you do all of this on good notes so now i'm going to show you metamoji note which i've already opened um the big difference here is there is that button in the search in the the button in the menu that i'm blinking right now is that rectangle with a closed eyelid is what lets you switch between pages so if you want to be able to write something on this on your paper you would have to actually choose one of the features so either the text the selection tool your eraser or your pen slash highlighter um, so this pen is different from the other one because you have to actually choose which one you want so these are like brush pens ball pen highlighter you know I pick my highlighter and then I can change my color And I will say I have a holiday week coming maybe I'll highlight that which we don't have right now but we'll pretend I actually do have a holiday weekend coming up at the end of July but I don't know if we'll be able to go with everything going on anymore um, we were just gonna go just family for a few days um, instead of staying in our own house we're gonna go stay together at someone else's house um, at an Airbnb but we'll see hopefully we can and that is really the biggest difference uh, but you still have kind of a brush pen um, if I click on it it's sort of a calligraphy pen you have a little bit of you know leeway here if you really wanted to do calligraphy good notes would be better but if you uh, only have Android devices then this is the next best thing that's free I haven't found um, or I actually haven't searched for a payable option for Android but if anybody knows of any feel free to leave them in the comments below for everybody else um, but everything else here would work essentially the same so one thing I didn't mention on good notes but on good notes you can just click a plus sign and add a page for this one you would have to go through the bottom of the screen right here where it says the page numbers and I just did this earlier but it didn't record so I'm gonna do it again <laughs> but if I were to add or remove a page so I could just click and tap on it twice see I can remove them or I can add a copy so if I need to use the same page more than once um, I can want to use this page again I'm just going to click here copy and then I'm gonna tap where I want it paste and it'll go right after whatever I had on so now I can have multiple 
weekly pages but I can alternate them if I want or I can make them all the same by just deleting the one that I don't want and that is it for this section of the tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you click the like button below and you subscribe so you don't miss anything else coming up and thank you again for watching i'll see you next time bye